Today's focus is all about wrists and thumbs. It's probably pretty obvious why these areas of our body need love, but in case you're not putting the puzzle together, it's because we're holding those kids all day and we're cranking our thumb like this. When we're holding for hours and hours at a time, it really puts a lot of strain and tension right there. So grab your release ball. You're also gonna need a hard surface. I'm gonna be demonstrating on this chair, which pretty firm, but you can definitely use just a countertop or a tabletop is probably easiest. So get your ball, move to a location where you've got a nice firm surface and let's bring a little bit of relief to this really, really, really commonly overlooked area of pain. All right, let's do it. All right, we're looking for this sucker right here. Okay, we're gonna place the ball right there. And then we're gonna turn our palm up. And you're just gonna go up and down till you find a sticking point. It might be by your elbow, it might be down a little bit more. But we wanna kinda of stay in this meaty part of our forearm. Okay, so for me, it's right here. I can actually feel that radiate down into my fingers. It's a pretty good sign when you're feeling some of that tension moving out. So you might feel a little bit of radiating or pulsating. Play around with wrist position. You might wanna cock your wrist a little bit out or turn it in. See what you notice. We're gonna stay on the same side. All right, so now our focus is on this part, the inner part. You can kind of feel it if you just rub. That's where we're going for. Okay, so we're gonna take the ball, place it on that hard surface, and then I want you to put your arm kind of like an L shape, and then you're gonna take your free hand and give it a little smash. Once you're in there, you're just gonna roll it a little. Again, we're looking for spots that you're like, yes. So for me, it's right here. I start to feel some tension, but definitely go up and down, go side to side. If you find that sweet spot, it can be really great. Just kind of press a little more firmly with that top hand. that you can really feel it release. Little circles if you like. Whoo! It's good to go side to side and up and down. You want a variety of movement, again, Play around with that spot. You're gonna know. You're gonna know. <laughs> Your other side might not need as much love, but still good to do. So let's do it quickly. So you're gonna come find that beefy part on the outside. Place the ball underneath. And then remember, we're turning our palm up. Once we're in that position, we're gonna find the sweet spot. If we find it, we're gonna stay and we're gonna hang out. You can place that top hand down for more pressure. This side for me is not quite as sensitive because it is not my kid carrying hand, so I feel like I can add a little bit of pressure down. And then if you want, you can take that wrist and give it a little bit of flexion. And you find the spot that works for you. I'm gonna hang out here and I'm just gonna give my wrist some flexion, extension, flexion, extension. Mm 
Breathe through it. Again, you might feel it radiating down. We're releasing things. Find different spots, hang out there. And this hand is optional. It's just if you can tolerate a little bit more pressure, go ahead and add it in. All right. Okay, so now we wanna get that inner part. I like you just to kind of feel so that you understand what you're going for. So just take your hand, give it a little, give it a little feel right there. Ball there. And we're going to make a little L shape. sweet spot and want to stay, that's okay. There's a sweet spot for me. Again, you also have the option if you want to add a little bit more pressure, maybe, maybe the side isn't as sensitive and you can add a little bit more pressure. of carrying of a lot of things. So these should feel pretty good. Some good relief. Find that spot, play around with direction, back and forth, up and down, just hold. This is your release. You're listening to your body. That's my number one job through this whole program is to teach you to listen to your body and to trust it. Your body will tell you. Your body always tells you what it needs. We often choose not to listen to it. <laughs> These are great moments to practice listening. All right. With wrist pain, it's a whole lot of chicken and the egg, which came first. Oftentimes, tight traps can radiate down and cause tension down the chain. So it's always good to address these traps as well. So I want you to take that ball and place it firmly right on these muscles. And we're gonna go all the way up here. This is our path. So take that ball. We're just gonna press. And do little circles. Coming up through the front a little bit. And then we're gonna get into our neck, right where it connects. And you might feel this as you're doing it, radiate down through your fingers. We are literally connected. So it's good to address the body a few ways. General rule of thumb, if something hurts, you kind of want to look at the unit above it and directly below it. So if you're having a lot of wrist pain, I would look at your hand and I would look up here at this area. Go ahead and turn that head to the side while you're working in here. You're keeping a nice flat hand, right, on that massage ball. We're not gripping it stressing out those muscles even more. Okay, let's switch around. Same thing, other side. Little circles, kind of back, forth. Adding some length by tilting our head. When we're learning to breathe properly, 
we often <laughs> start to see a natural release and some tension up in this area of our body. Because when we backwards breathe from sucking in or being self-conscious, we tend to have to use all these breathing accessory muscles up here and they get really tight and tense. So you might notice as your core starts to get stronger and you work on retraining your brain, you don't feel quite as much tension or maybe you're getting less headaches. This one just feels so good. we're gonna take this ball and we're gonna place it between these pads of our thumb. So again, I like you to kind of feel where that muscle is before we start working on it. So can you feel that right there, that robust part of your thumbs? Whoever described their thumbs as robust. Just me. Okay, then we're gonna sandwich with those two robust parts of our thumb and we're just gonna go up and down and you are gonna be literally shocked. <laughs> And how much tension you have right here. It's almost silly. So you can totally relax your hands down. I'm just trying to show you a little bit more of a close view of what's happening. Back and forth, just making little circles. I really enjoy this one a little hand massage. You also have the option to use your hard surface. You can do them one at a time if that feels better to you. I'm using my thigh for convenience here, but you can do this on a table. I'm just gonna wanna make sure you, of course, hit both sides. So you've got options. I kinda like the two birds one stone approach. You can definitely get a little bit deeper doing it on a hard surface, but you decide. All right, well, I hope this helps relieve some tension all throughout, but especially from doing this. The other thing to keep in mind, just when you're holding kids, try your best to keep that wrist a little straighter, and we can do this by holding baby a little in closer and back. Okay, thank you for joining.